Hi, my name's Emma. I'm the School and Youth Programs Manager at the Bainbridge Island Museum of Art, and I'm here today for BIMA's Art in Action from Home. Today we're going to be making bubble prints. Printmaking with bubbles is fun because bubbles are spontaneous. You never know how, how big they're going to be or how quickly they're going to pop. And so we get to play with kind of spontaneity and color um, in this really fun and easy project. To get started today, we'll need heavy paper. I like to use watercolor paper or anything that has a little bit of texture and weight to it. A drinking straw, dish soap, a shallow dish, and liquid pigment. When it comes to the pigment, you can really use anything you have on hand as long as it's liquid. Um, I'm going to be using some liquid watercolor. Ink would also work. Um, and if you're worried about um, having materials near your mouth, food coloring is a great option too. So today, this is really going to be an experiment of mixing what is the right saturation level, what is the best ratio of the pigment to dish soap to water. And I'm going to start by adding just a little bit of this liquid watercolor to my shallow dish. We're working with a shallow dish here because you want to be able to blow enough bubbles that they reach the surface of the dish. And so I'll start with maybe just a half teaspoon of this liquid watercolor. And to that, we'll add uh, the liquid dish soap, which is the fat or the lipids that will kind of hold our bubbles together. And then I'll also add in some water and mix that really well. I want it to be completely mixed up. And once that's all mixed, you can start blowing your bubbles. And because we're in the experimental phase of this process, you'll want to lay your paper on top and, and check that saturation level. You can see that I didn't get a ton of um, print on my first go around. So I'm adding more pigment, mixing it up, and then trying again. And so it's already starting to look better. So in addition to um, pressing your paper on top of the shallow dish. You also have the option of scooping or dropping the bubbles from the surface of the dish onto your paper. Another opportunity for experimentation. And you can even draw with them. I like kind of scraping it on the edge of the paper there, getting a big mass of bubbles. And as you play with this, you'll come up with your own methods, figure out what works best for you, how you like to use this material and this technique. And there you go. Those are how mine turned out. Um, these are my first experiments, and I'll probably keep playing with it. Um, there's a lot of variation you can see. This project would be really cool if you tried different colors and tried layering different colors. I love the places where the, the pigment came on really thick like that. And I'm uh, looking forward to seeing what you all make.